all right then, one more season. And I know I don't need it because I've had my hair cut, but it just feels right, doesn't it? It's, I've still got to sit back some in. If it's still here, it stays on. It's part of the brand, isn't it? Part of brand Benji. That's not, I'm not saying that again. Hello then, viewers. Welcome back to my Post Millions. You absolutely smashed it on the last episode. You want to see more of this, and I want to bring you it then. So here we are. Welcome. The squad looks a tiny bit different. We're running through some of the transfer action and then play Birmingham City uh, to kick off our season. Just, just the one game today because we play Leeds after that, and it's not exactly title contention, is it, for us? Probably for us. So we'll see how we get on against Birmingham. But first things first then, let's tell you who left the club for some money. Thankfully, uh, not Mike Ashley still in charge and the, the, the sponsorship deals are still being pumped into the club. So we should be fine. FFP is a, a joke, viewers. We clear FFP every season. No problem. Just smashing it. Absolutely smashing it. I know what you're thinking. You're all thinking it's at home now. This is this is only way you're thinking. Did not Mike Ashley f pass the fit and proper person's test? Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Probably. Then who's checking now because we're in the future the transfer window does actually end uh, at the end of the month so we still have a little bit of time to spend some money if we need to 78 million is still there to spend uh, it's difficult because the top top players cost top top money and we have some money uh, I've bought two strikers in like I said let's focus on the, the guys that have left first shall we let's do that as uh, Lazaro's got out for 37.5 million it's a bit of a joke really uh chinese clubs don't know, know what they're doing I'll, t I'll take it thank you for, for the money um they came in at 23 million i went 40 they went not 40 with 37.5 they went 37.5 just like that easy uh Russellon's also left he's just been here for a while now he's 30 years of age um he's not as good as he once was i've bought in charlie taylor we'll, we'll cover that quickly shall we i bought in charlie taylor sort of as his replacement uh the reason we've had to do this is that the, the big big news really is that Grimaldo's out for, for two months so we need to bring in another left back you can see just based on the attributes you see there Grimaldo is significantly better than anybody else at left back so Charlie Taylor brought in that uh, he could do a job so could Nathan okay so we've got a little bit of options there if we need them um but now let's focus on where we've spent some big money some big money big money oh just calm down someone's starting a series again aren't they someone's got someone's re-energized so yeah two players um one of which you may have heard of one of which you won't have heard of because he's a regen uh we're into lesson 23 so you could do that now if you was. uh we missed out on a few players we really wanted but we got these two guys uh Vlovic probably uh 30 million pounds from ix looks pretty solid to me he doesn't look like a absolute superstar but looks like he's on the verge of becoming one um as i say spent 30 million pounds on him great finishing good uh mentals for, for a striker as well good technique of course physically looks pretty good to me six foot three um yeah i like him elite striker is the media description is and I, I listen to the media description yes i do and the other one is andrea corrado for a man doing a save which is the last season i've bought a player with loads of potential that's Never change, Ben. Never change. It'll feature here and there. Uh, it just was quite exciting, wasn't it? Forty-two point five million uh, after a scintillating season for Salzuelo. Uh, but no, I think I think he's got loads of potential. And uh, yeah, if we get him playing a little bit here and there, of course we've got lots of games this year. We've got Champions League games and. and uh, domestic cup uh, competitions he can definitely feature in those and hopefully do okay we do still have i mean we do still have sergio aguero um he's on loads of money he's pretty average he doesn't really score anywhere near as many as he should and i regret signing him so <laughs> welcome back to the series viewers i wanted a better striker really couldn't get one so we've settled for the two that we've brought him yeah that's the way it is oh sh yeah sh i'll show you who i wanted sure signed the new contract with bill bow didn't he so the new contract. Yeah, yeah, I had a deal set, 58 million, and uh, instead he signed the new contract and upped the release fee and his wage. So, could have been great, mate, me and you. I couldn't have said your name, sure, but we could have been great together. Uh, that's what I wanted, didn't get him. So the budget version of him was Dusan. So, ah, oh, good. It's a good start. No, I don't want Anthony Martial. Thank you, player search. He's at the top every time. Him, Rashford, Felix, every single time. Can't afford any of them. Can't afford them. Oh, 70 million. I'll buy it for 70 million. Uh, no, sorry, mate. We want 145 million. Oh, get out of my office then. Anyway, Birmingham City then to come. Uh, we've played a game already this season. It was the Community Shield against Liverpool. Oh, Benny lost on penalties. Oh, yeah, let me tell you the story, though. There's always a story. Uh, so they, they missed very early. Haaland missed his penalty. I thought we were in here. We'd score, we scored four in a row. Aguero, uh, Corrado. We've got uh, the Bake and Bailey all scoring. And then it came to St. Maxim in. And I should be wearing this based on what happened. Uh, to, to win the game for, for Newcastle United. Missed it, didn't he? So uh, it went to, went to 
extra penalties, which is not the phrase that's usually said. Sudden death. There you go. Bit, bit, it's a bit threatening for football, isn't it? Sudden death. Imagine if you missed, you were killed immediately. That would be sudden death. Uh, other is only they missed and Nero scored. And, well, we didn't win the Community Shield, did we? No, we didn't, Ben. And now we get the Titanic battle that I know when you click this video, you're thinking, I, I hope he's playing one of the, the major cities in the United Kingdom. Maybe he's playing Birmingham. Well, you're in luck, viewers. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. So, team-wise, going into this season, I've got to be honest, I'm pretty happy. The Charlie Taylor situation obviously isn't great, and we could well play Ake there instead, but I think Taylor's a better fullback because that's his position. So, we're going we're gonna to stick with him at the start of the season, at least, and see how he features or fares uh, about there. I'm just noticing that, actually, we could play him on a support fullback duty, which he's far happier with. Uh, Onana will be in goal. He signed the new contract. He'll be here for the end of the save. Um, they, well, they all will be. It's a year long. So, uh, Otero at right back, of course, remains there. Still very, very good. We'll click through them. Why not, Ben? Let's show them off. Martin, of course, replaced... Uh, 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 Ruben Diaz I still think he's brilliant so probably our best defender in the side next to him we've got Alessandro Martinez uh, oh two Argentinians as well mates the, in, them two and Aguero not performing adequately uh, Taylor has mentioned uh, Luis Alberto continues in this deep lying playmaker role which makes no sense when you consider that Samaso, uh, Samase Ku yeah uh, should be there instead but Luis Alberto just works in there for whatever reason there's no logic to it yes? oh no uh, Bailey one side set Maxim in the other and Kai Havertz will be behind Volovic. Uh, let's hopefully see if Dusan can do the business. All right, Birmingham City. As I say, oh, Charlie Taylor needs a number. Sure, he does. He can have my number, the little minx. No, he can't. He can't. Yeah, it's not possible to give a fictional player within a video game your mobile number. So, uh, they're playing a far boring, viewers. The big news for me, really, is that Jude Bellingham is still at Birmingham City in 2023. So, there you are. Look, they're playing a five at the back. Michael Keane's there. Uh, a few other players that I recognise. Ryan Fredericks, is it? Oh, look at that. It's like doing a quiz. And I will be the quiz master. Oh, technically, I shouldn't be doing the quiz then. All right, look, some of the other players, not going to lie to you, I'm not that familiar with. Let's go. Basically, I want to prove to you in this game that with the acquisitions that we've made, with the squad that we've got, we are capable of challenging for the league title. I think, based on what I saw last season, we are not that far away. The problem for us was that Liverpool are really good. So if we start well and Liverpool don't start so well, we've got a chance. Let's start well. Let's demand more. It's very vague, isn't it, to one more? We all click it three times a game, but we don't really know what more is. More of what? Sometimes they might not be playing well, and I demand more. Am I demanding more poor performance? I don't know what I'm... I don't... I genuinely don't... It, does it say, actually? It probably does. No there's, no, there's no details on demand more. We don't... We know nothing of it. Well... Ah, it's taken some time. They've, I think they're asking, did he demand? Did he demand more? He demanded more. We shall, we shall do more. And here we are now. Look, you see, we're, we've demanded more. We're getting this is more than we were getting, isn't it? Uh, Audrey Zola took, took some time. Took some time. Audrey Zola plays it back across. Bellingham cuts it out. The five at the back for Newcastle seems to be causing us a little problem or two. But Luis Alberto's creative uh, juices at the back there probably. Uh, well, so Maximin's giving it away. It's not his best work. Uh, having someone like him in that deep line playmaker role, actually, is very helpful. So Maximin, he's hit the bar, has he? It's gone. It's, a, it's half time, viewers. Just like that, he was keen, wasn't he, the ref? <laughs> okay, here we go. Ah, uh, Chiesa scored for Arsenal. Uh, we sold Chiesa to Arsenal in the January. Uh, they immediately transfer listed him, and now he's playing for them. It seems like it seems like they've, they've lied to someone. Could have got him back for 54 million. That's a good t I should have demanded more. And you know, look, I'm looking for you to make the difference tonight, boys. Come on. We need to see something. The bench is very strong, to be fair. Henderson's on there. Aguero's on there. Uh, Corrado's on there. We've got we've got options. We can bring them on at any time. Part of the rules, isn't it? Oh, no. What's happened here? They're in. Oh, for heaven's sake. Christian Pedersen. First goal of the season. Uh, it's their first shot on target. So, welcome back to a new year, Ben. Now, forget the replays. Who wants the replays? I do. Who's meddled with my replays? All right, 52 minutes gone. We're going to have to bring on the big guns here, viewers. Uh, Luis Alberto is having a decent game, so I don't really want to take him off. Leon Bailey's having a shocker. Uh, Samaseku's going to come off. Henderson's going to come on. <sighs> Carrado is going to come on up front. I'm going to make the change early, viewers. Early. We're just going to go back, back, back to balanced. We don't need to go attacking. We don't need to rush it. We can just take our time, find an opening, score. I've demanded more again, viewers. So... Technically, that's going to be 2 now, isn't it? Because I've, I've demanded more before. We were 1 0. Hello, Luis Alberto. Ball in. We're there. We're not there. Sit Maxim in. Get the ball into the centre. We've got we've got players. I feel like I know this team almost too well. It's like we're too good of friends, me and this Newcastle United side. And you don't want to become mates with your players. You don't. You don't, Views. You want to become respected colleagues. And I'm not. I'm not, am I? Look at me. 
How can I be? I walk in, people start calling me Alan because I look like him. It, it doesn't work, viewers. And that's the name of my father. So it all links together as one. Oh, dearie me. Charlie Taylor's on the ball, viewers. Um, taking his time. We've got St. Maximin again, racing forward. They call him Dr. Benji as he races in. Go on, mate. Oh, for heaven's sake. I don't want to complain about being unlucky. I don't want to complain about the fact, you know, maybe I should have gone more attacking. That's what the comments will say. Why didn't you go more attacking? Okay, we will, we will then. And we'll see that actually what that tends to do is force the ball forward at rapid speeds to the point where you don't actually score. If we score now, obviously you would have been proven correct. We could have done it for some time. Leon Bailey misses. So I told you, I told you, I'm being FM'd here, by the way. 26 shots. We've had eight on target, 12 off target, only six of them long. So 20 of them not long as uh, we've got a chance to rescue a point here. So Maximin runs into them not brilliantly. We're back on the ball again. No, Luis Alberto across to Bailey as Azure Azola. I, oh, I thought there was going to definitely be a chance for us and it's it's killed the highlight. 57% of the ball. We've completed 91 of our passes. Um, midfield, defence and attack all have kept the ball brilliantly. As I say, 26 shots. Uh, I spent £80 million on strikers this summer. <sighs> it's Birmingham City 1, Newcastle. You liked the video last time for this. So, if anything, this is your fault. So, I mean, wow. I've, I've tried to devote myself of all responsibility during today's episode. Uh, it's a bit of a short one because we're just playing Birmingham. So, hopefully you've enjoyed this. I haven't because I look like a fool, viewers. And not just because of the headband, actually. No. But because we've been beaten by Birmingham, who may have just been promoted, by the way. Were they? Let's find we'll find out. I think they I think they have been. I think they were. They haven't. So clearly I'm in tune with the league. Well there we are. That sums it up, viewers. Uh if we take a look at the league table, sure. We're FA Cup holders, remember. Look at the league table there, you can see we're seventeenth. We're look, we're above Chelsea and Tottenham on goal difference, and we're just behind City. If you'd have told me after game one, you'd be level with City, I'd have taken that all day, every day. Liverpool have managed to have Three points, so have United. Um, there's work to be done here, viewers. And I'll see you next time. The next episode we shall bring you uh, will be probably towards Liverpool and or Tottenham. Or Manchester City. Look, I'll leave it as a mystery, viewers. You let me know. Uh, they've, they've, they're getting rid of polls on YouTube. They may have already done it. So, uh, yeah, feel for Robert Lewandowski. <laughs> Comedy. See you soon, everyone. Waving. You regret liking the video, didn't you? I mean, if you want to see another episode, like this one. Uh, that's... Uh, that's a game.